so starting from here and going right across to the other side and then further down uh, wherever you see these blue tarpaulin tents uh, this is uh, the heart of the Bangladeshi community in Belendu. Now, they have their own separate road leading into this community. All, all these uh, tents are made. Uh, they, the rental is anything between five to 8,000 rupees is what I'm told per shack. right? So they have their own uh, water supply. They have their own... Uh, cable TV connection. They have their own electricity. They have shops. Uh, it's a it's a thriving community, uh, and this is just from the balcony of my apartment. Uh, why are they all in Belandur? Uh, I think it's just that probably the early settlers who came in from Bangladesh decided to shack up here, and then you know how they are. They just keep bringing more and more people inside, and uh, this is a thriving community. Once in three months, BBMP will come. They will uh, make a big show. Uh, they will pull out a few of these tents. They will throw all the things. Uh, they will bring a bulldozer. Uh, and a, a lot of noise will be created. The cops will come. Uh, that is just one day, right? So people will be homeless. People will be uh, evicted. And, uh, you know, that is just like probably five or six of these tents will be uprooted. And then everybody will come back again and uh, business as usual. So this is a brilliant nexus of this guy who owns all this land over here and uh, the politician, the cops, uh, Bangalore uh, Municipal Corporation, all these guys, they're all in it together. So imagine it's like five to uh, 8,000 rupees a month for each one of these shacks. So we don't even know how many are there here. So that's the kind of money we are talking about. Everybody gets a cut. Uh, I mean, it's it's almost zero investment, right? The land is there and you just have to put these uh, tarpaulin, the blue tarpaulin with some sticks on it and it becomes a home. So, yeah, as I said, probably the first guys from Bangladesh who came here decided to make it their home and today they're all here. Uh, most of them are um, security guards in um, one of these uh, security firms which is really scary right these guys have documents to become a security guard and if you ask them where they are from they will say they are from 24 paraganas west bengal within india yeah so that's the story of the bangladeshi community in belandur and you know on fridays they will openly be wearing uh, you know uh, traditional bangladesh clothes which will be like a a green t-shirt with an orange pant or a red pant to show <laughs> their colors they don't give a damn about who's watching them or all that yeah so whatever is happening in the country a uh, lot of protest and all that stuff but this has to be cleaned up for sure otherwise uh, yeah there, there are no more Canada uh, uh, speaking people in Berendur you can get into a uh, a bus and if you speak to the conductor in Canada and ask him for a ticket in Canada he is so delighted because he tells me that um, the number of people who get into a bus who can speak Canada is like probably one in a hundred 